Hey guys, Pauline here and I am back with another video and today I am going to be testing my knowledge and by doing that I'm going to be watching these riddles and trying to figure them out and see whether I'm I'm good at this or not <laughs> which I honestly don't really think I am I'm not really that smart <laughs> but if you guys want to test your own knowledge you guys can also participate as well and if you guys know the answer comment down below before before they give us the answer so yeah and let me just stop talking and let's just begin so yeah number one okay the end of the world that wednesday life in the big city was going on as usual people were hurrying to work taxis mm -hmm. were stuck in traffic jams and kids were heading for school mm -hmm. without warning a powerful blast of thunder shook the ground shocked people saw a surge of water flowing from the subway fire and earthquakes made people seek shelter oh the electricity no suddenly went off leaving nothing but panic and despair that's how the end of the world started okay eric was terrified and trapped some doors were locked and danger was lurking behind others mm -hmm. the young man had just one minute to choose between four doors if he picked the correct one he'd have a chance to get inside a shelter and survive but behind the first door was a stone blockage that appeared after the earthquake mm -hmm. the second door hit a raging fire oh. behind the third door was electric power saws mm -hmm. and the fourth door was holding back a flood which door did Eric have to choose to stay alive? Okay. So, let me think. Okay, so the first one is with the rocks. Which, I don't really see how he would be able to t get out of that since it's, like, really covered. Fire? No, that is not... <laughs> that's, that's... No. That, no, just no. Third one, electric... Uh, did... Wait, 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 wait. But didn't in the beginning he said the electricity didn't work? Wasn't the electricity down? So, and if with the water, there was a flood. If you open the door, wouldn't it just, no, it will flood. Never mind. Okay. I think it's the third one. Yeah, I think it's the third one. Because in the beginning, it said that the electricity did not work. <gasps> I think it's the third one. Okay. You like disaster movies. Okay. Then you should know how the main characters managed to survive. Yeah. You have only 15 seconds to help Eric. Okay. So, yeah. I believe very strongly that I think it's the third one. Because in the beginning, they said that the electricity did not work. I remember. Yes! They gave us they gave us the clue in the beginning. Okay, okay. Third one. Third one. Have you figured out the solution? Mm -hmm. Door number three is the right. Yes! Did you remember that the electricity went off in the first? No! You yes, 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 I did it! Saws wouldn't harm Eric. <gasps> if he chose I got the it. Door, he would have every chance of surviving the end of the world. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. A murder on a Friday. Okay, Friday evening. Mark, the owner of a big house and a successful business, was found dead on a rainy Friday evening. Okay. The police stated that it was a murder. Mm -hmm. Despite being a rich and respectful man, Mark wasn't friendly or polite. He often mistreated people, so there were some who might wish him dead. On that tragic Friday, there were just three people in the house. A cook, a gardener, and a butler. It's no wonder that they became the prime suspects. When the police were questioning these people, they heard the following stories. Okay. At the time when the businessman was killed, the cook was in the kitchen preparing Mark's favorite pasta and salad. Okay. The gardener was outside watering the plants in the huge garden. As for the butler, he stated that he had been setting the table for dinner. Even though everyone inside the house had solid alibis, the police immediately arrested the murderer. Who was it? You have 15 seconds wait, to solve wait, this wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, I'm s I think I got it. Okay, so in the beginning, they said that it is raining. It's raining. How How is the gardener wa watering the plants if it's raining? The rain is already watering the plants. So I think the gardener did it. Even though... I think the gardener did it though. <gasps> wow! I think I'm 
getting these riddles so quickly. Ah! Okay, okay, I want to see, I want to see. <laughs> yeah. I think it was the gardener because how can you water the plants if there's a, if it's storming, right? Am I right? <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it should be the gardener. It's the gardener. If you were wondering why the gardener had to water the plants on a rainy day, you were absolutely right. Yeah! Because he wasn't in the garden. Yes! He was killing his employer. Yeah! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Number yes! three. All right. A killer clown mystery. Oh. Oh no. There was a clown who worked only a few hours a day. Mm -hmm. But a colleague asked the clown to step in for him. The clown was helpful and friendly. Mm -hmm. So he agreed to help his colleague out. This turned out to be a bad decision because the clown had to deal with 50 shouting, screaming, energetic kids. Oh, no. When the clown returned Did home he? late at night, he had only enough strength to switch off all the lights and fall into bed. He never woke up during the night, and he did not sleepwalk. However, when he woke up, he found out that he had killed 666 people. He was terrified. How did he kill all those people? Oh my, these scary movies about clowns don't lie. But can you figure out how a person can commit such a terrible crime without waking up? 15 seconds to reach your... Okay, I'm sorry, what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. If you guys know, comment down below because I honestly don't know. He says he never sleepwalks or wakes up in the night. Okay, let me try to go back. Maybe there is something I missed. Not sleepwalk. Okay. However, when the clown had to deal, he was killing his a few hours a day. But a colleague asked the clown to step in for him. The clown was helpful and friendly, so he agreed to help his colleague out. Mm -hmm. This turned out to be a bad decision because the clown had to deal with 50 shouting, screaming, energetic kids. When the clown returned home late at night, he had only enough strength to switch off all the lights and fall into bed. He never woke up during the night, and he did not sleepwalk. However, when he woke up, he found out that he had killed 666 people. He was terrified. How did he kill all those people? Oh my, these scary movies about clowns don't lie. But can you figure out how a person can commit such a terrible crime without waking up? 15 seconds to reach your conclusion. Um, okay. How can he kill that much people? He said he only had enough strength to go to sleep. He didn't have enough strength. How can he do that? I don't know. I don't, I honestly believe that he didn't. I honestly believe that he did not do it because I know he was extremely tired. He was a good person. He's a good, how was he able to kill those so, so many people? Like, I know he was stressed and he was really tired at the end. I, I don't think it's possible though. Shouldn't you wake up at some point? I don't think it was possible. I don't know. If you guys know, just comment down below. Because I honestly, I just believe that he didn't do it. Because they didn't give us enough clues. So. That's all I know. Alright, let's see. The explanation is that the clown lived in a lighthouse. That's why he had just a couple of hours a day to work as a clown. That night, he was so exhausted that he switched off all the lights in the house. This caused the boats at sea to crash, which resulted in the deaths of 666 people. Oh! Did they? Wait, Number what? Four. What? When did he say he he lived in the lighthouse? Did 
did they say what okay you know what um i don't know anymore <laughs> let's just continue uh, murder in a locked room oh mr jones so was found dead in his room in a pool of blood however there was no window in his room and the door was locked from the inside the police knew that sherlock holmes loved such mysteries so they immediately called the detective when he arrived he examined the crime scene and questioned the four people who had a key to the room sophie the maid said that she had come to wake mr jones at 7 a.m as usual when she saw him dead she had started to scream john the butler stated that when he heard someone's screams he had rushed upstairs, turned on the light, and had seen Mr. Jones with a knife in the side of his neck. Hannah, the governess, explained that she had hurried to the room along with John. When John turned on the light, the first thing she had noticed was that the room was all bloody. As for Jack, the cook, he said that he had been preparing breakfast at that time and hadn't seen anything. Sherlock immediately understood who the criminal was. Will 15 seconds be enough for you to figure it out? Hold up. Let me go to the beginning. Because... Along with John. He said that okay, she had up. come to... That Sherlock Holmes loves such mystery. Blah. Okay. Number four. A murder in a locked room. Mr. Jones was found dead in his room in a pool of blood. Mm -hmm. However, there was no window in his room, no and the window. door was locked from the inside. The police knew that Sherlock Holmes loved such mysteries, so they immediately called the detective. When he arrived, he examined the crime scene and questioned the four people who had a key to the room. Sophie, the maid, said that she had come to wake Mr. Jones at 7 a.m. as usual. When she saw him dead, she had started to scream. John, the butler, stated that when he heard someone's screams, he had rushed upstairs, turned on the light, and had seen Mr. Jones with a knife in the side of his neck. Hannah, the governess, explained that she had hurried to the room along with John. When John turned on the light, the first thing she had noticed was that the room was all bloody. As for Jack, the cook, he said that he had been preparing breakfast at that time and hadn't seen anything. Sherlock immediately understood who the criminal was. Will 15 seconds be enough for you to figure it out? I don't know why. I think it was the cook. Because he says that he was preparing breakfast. And they found Mr. Jones, that's his name? Mr. Jones with a knife. On the side of his neck. How the heck would they give a knife? The cook says he was... He didn't hear anything. He was there the whole time. Cooking. How did not he not hear anything? If... If someone would have gone in there, they would have got a knife. From the kitchen where he was cooking. He would have noticed something. Unless it was him. I think it might be the cook. Comment down below if you guys agree or if you guys know anything. I don't know. But I think it's the cook. I think it might be the cook. Oh, God. But, oh, no. That's terrible. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a, That would be horrible. Well, the murderer is Sophie. John and Hannah stated that the room had been dark, which is why John had to switch on the light. Sophie already knew that he was dead, which is why she did not need to turn the light on. How many riddles did you- I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay. I'm not as smart as I thought I was. <laughs> wow! Okay, I, I need to start paying attention more. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, thank you guys so much for watching. And comment down below how much how many did you guys get right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And until then, bye-bye!